click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about free wheel diode. So friends, as we all know, whenever we use an inductor in an electrical circuit, inductor has a tendency to get charged, again to get discharged. So whenever we supply an electric voltage across an inductor, the inductor keeps on charging because the voltage across the inductor depends on the rate of change of electric current. So whenever we apply a voltage, the inductor gets charged. However, when we stop the voltage, then the inductor starts discharging which allows the circuit to have an extra current and which consequences an external power loss plus because of the inductor discharge it might create a lot of harmonic and a lot of disturbance in the circuit so friends let's discuss about what happens when the inductor discharges and how a free wheel diode can make this operation simpler and easier now friends I'm going to connect a DC voltage source to an RL load and in parallel, I'm going to connect a free wheel diode. Let's see what happens. Let's say V be the DC voltage that is being applied, R be the resistance and L be the inductance. The moment when we connect this battery to the inductor, what happens is, the current flows in a clockwise direction. However, if we draw the circuit, the same circuit using a switch, it looks like Now friends, this be the V, the DC voltage. Let's say this is R, L and D. Now if I close the switch, the current starts flowing in the circuit. In this loop, let I be the current that is flowing through the circuit. Now friends, when the current starts flowing, inductor gets charged. Now, if there is no diode here, so when I close the switch, electric current starts flowing in this loop. Now, let's see what happens when I switch off this switch that means i keep this switch open so after the inductor gets charged let me switch this off now what happens is this becomes an open circuit the flow of electric current stops however when the switch is again turned off the inductor changes its polarity because originally the polarity was this positive and negative because the current used to flow in the clockwise direction if suddenly I switched this switch off or I switch it off or I keep the switch open, what happens is the polarity across the inductor changes and this becomes plus and this becomes minus. And this diode provides a path for the discharging of inductor current. Now the current across the inductor will be discharging in this direction. Hence friends, when we use a free wheel diode, the one of the best advantage or one of the major advantage is that it provides a path for the discharge current. So friends, using a free wheel diode is same as using a flyback in a motor. So free wheel diode for the same reason is called a flyback diode because it provides a path for the discharge which is highly beneficial for the circuit because if we do not provide a discharging path for the inductor or a capacitor the circuit might get destroyed because of overcurrent or because of extra harmonics because of the free wheel diode it creates a complete path for the discharge current which prevents from the overcurrent protection which prevents for the harmonic to be introduced in the circuit and finally this is very important for the safety purpose as well. So friends to summarize we we'll discuss what a free wheel diode is, what its function is and what are the benefits of using a free wheel diode in a circuit where we need to discharge the discharging current immediately. Thank you so much friends for watching this video. Please subscribe to Ikeda and stay tuned with Ikeda. Thank you so much.